Hey, Ryan, how's it going today? How's it going? Thanks for hey, having man. me. Yeah, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, I know you got a lot going on. Tell me about uh, Trailblazers. What, what's what's the, the deal with this game? What 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 inspired you? And, and give us a little nutshell of what it's about. Cool. Yeah, so Trailblazers is uh, sort of the third of these pipe playing style games that I've made. This one is the most light and approachable of the three. And it plays one to eight players. And it's all about building different, uh, like hiking, biking, and kayaking trails. So gotcha. it has sort of a uh, like seven wonders style drafting mechanism. That's how you're going to get the tiles that you're going to use. And then you're going to do, you know, typical uh, tiling. Uh, puzzling out to build out these large routes or hopefully hopefully large so that you win uh, right. and then at the end of the game you sort of measure those various different things and you check some goal cards that's can get you some additional bonus points but yeah really snappy and one real nice thing about it is that because it's got this drafting mechanism everybody's playing at the same time and so right. even if you're playing eight players it's still a 30 minute game that's cool low downtime keeps it moving um let's jump to the table i know it's a lighter game so we don't have to to do too much preamble here uh let me switch here and we can take a look at how a turn works so cool. uh we've got set up here what is it you start off with eight cards right that's right so everybody would be given eight cards to start with and so you'll be looking at your hand on your very first turn you're going to pick one of these three camp sites to use. And then you're going to pick two tiles from here to place. And <laughs> we'll just go ahead and do the standard version of the game. So we can sort of ignore uh, these different animals. Okay. But one so thing that we should, go, we should go ahead and pull out is a couple of these cards here. So these are the things that we will be going after. So there's oh, cool. two types of cards in the game. The one on the left here are end game cards, the right. uh, ones that are uh, sort of a, a tannish color in the center. So this one is saying, the top left corner is saying uh, the most length on hiking trails. Then the one below that is saying the longest kayaking trail. Okay. So. Yeah, we, we could see that we want to potentially work on getting those by the end of the game. And then right. on these white bordered or white inside ones, these are first two cards. So if you're the first person to accomplish this, then you'll get you'll place your player token up next to the six. So this one is saying hiking. Uh, and in this case, it just wants four loops. And then this one is saying it wants two loops where both of the uh, entrances entrances and exits are sharing a face with another loop. So typically what I'd do is I'd pick a couple of these that I'd want to work towards. Uh, maybe like maybe I would, so I would look here and I'd say, okay, I can, I can make some progress towards uh, this one right away with this orange piece. So I don't have gotcha. to worry about the end game ones quite yet. So maybe I'll, I'll take this orange aisle first. Okay. And I'll place that here and then I'll place, I'll pick two pieces. So I'll pick this one right there. And then I'll go ahead and place this piece here. And so the hope is, is that I get an orange that wraps around like this outside loop here wraps around to this edge. And then this one in here also makes a little loop. Oh, for the trail. So the starting point is going to designate what kind of, no, no, they're orange and green, right? So there, there are three different trail types. Okay. There's the orange ones, which are the mountain biking ones. And they're, you're always going to want those to come out in and out of the uh, orange square gotcha. and the orange campsite. And all the brown ones will come out of the brown campsite. And all the turquoise ones will come out of the, the kayaking campsite. So it's not against the rules to place something where it doesn't match up, but it's just, it's not to your advantage. Gotcha. 
So that would be the first turn there. And what would happen is, is we would take these six cards and pass it over to the next player. And then the player to my right would hand me six cards. So I'll just grab six here and pretend like that happened. Right. That's fine. And so oh, now cool. what I have to look at is, okay, what, what can I do to potentially fix this? So normally this would be a pretty good move for me, but I don't want to do this because I'm trying to get uh, both of these faces. Like I want these on both of the same face. So I'll probably right. go ahead and pass on that and I'll see if I can work on something else. So even though I don't have my uh, kayaking, or, or sorry, my uh, hiking one out yet, I do right. have like a good place to put a hiking building in the future. And so maybe I'll start working on some of that. So maybe I'll place that there. And let's so start. each turn, yeah. each turn we're, we're playing, how many cards are we playing? One? We're going to play two cards every single two cards. turn. So each turn two you cards. draft two of the cards that you have, and then you play both of those and all this is happening simultaneously. simultaneously. So there's not really any downtime. Obviously if there's somebody at your table who's super slow, then yeah. But yeah, for the cool. most part, everybody's playing at the same time and it's right. relatively quick because we're only going to do this for four rounds. So we're going to, we're going to play a total of only 24 tiles. Okay. And then and when so, you place yeah. buildings, is that a different, do you play that instead of a, of a tile card or like a trail card? We place buildings at the beginning of the first, second, and third round. Because okay. there's three buildings types. So that's why right. we place this one on the at the beginning of the thing. We're gonna we're gonna place tiles three times in between, and then we'll we'll go back and do a building again in the, the start of the second round. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and discard those. Pretend like we were past four. So let's see if we could keep working on some of this brown here. And we're trying just to remind people, make the total length on hiking, most total length on hiking trails or longest single uh, kayaking loop, right? Right. Are so those shared, um, I've sort of, given, I've sort of right. given up on this blue one. Yeah. So in this game, you're definitely not going to be able to be the best at all of these. So I've sort of picked a few that I wanted to go after. I'm going right. to try to uh, maybe do this one. Maybe I'll finish this one, but I'm definitely working on the two on the, on the right-hand column here right. at this point. Okay. Um, are they, they're all shared goals, right? For everybody? They are all shared goals. Okay. And they're friendly ties. So like if you did it on the same uh, turn as somebody else, then you'll get the same amount of points. Cool, cool. Uh, okay. And so there's two pieces left. That And that ends the round. So on your last turn of the round, you just take those two cards and you just discard them. Okay. Right so now we're right in the on. new round. So we would start with eight more tiles again. And we would look at these eight tiles. And then we would decide at this point. Uh, let's look, clean this up. Look at all those forward. rivers. <laughs> yeah, we did draw a lot of rivers. Right. I wonder if I, if I shuffled or not beforehand. <laughs> uh, so now we need a place of building again. So here, I probably am going to play this brown somewhere. So the question is, is do I just go ahead and give up on that blue area? I think. I think I don't need to try to worry about that blue. I'll just go ahead and get some of this brown scoring right away. So I can place this here. So the rules as far as placement goes is it just needs to be uh, orthogonally adjacent. So you can't like float something out. You right. can't do like diagonally touching. But I could stack if I wanted to. So stacking oh, is wow. legal. Hmm. That could be interesting. So I'll just go ahead and stick it here for this demo. And then I need to start thinking about what pieces I want to play. So this was a piece that I was hoping for. So that gets me this inner loop here, which I want. And then I'm going to want to eventually wrap an orange around the edge here.
All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and do this. So those will be my two placements for that turn. All right, and then just like the previous round, uh, I passed my six cards, but this time I'd be passing to the right. So on odd, on odd rounds, you pass to your left. On even rounds, you pass to your right. Makes sense. Okay, so I'd have six more cards at this point. Lots of oranges, which is good. We wanted to go ahead and finish this up. We'll go ahead and place that there for now. And then let's see if we can get some of this brown coming back our way. Let's go ahead and do this right here. I got up there. Okay. We go ahead and throw that back up here. That would again be passed to the right. We would get passed four more cards. All right. So Can you can you overlap the the trails and stuff too? Or I could. Have... So if I oh, wanted to uh, lay that, say like that. I mean that that doesn't look like a great idea, but right. I'm allowed to overlap anything that I want. Uh, and so you can fix mistakes that you made. Uh, you know, you I can cover up a card. My, huh? I can make it less ambitious if I wanted to. So oh, like wow. maybe that's a maybe that's a decent idea. Uh, so yes, you can overlap. The only thing that you cannot overlap is you may not overlap. Makes sense. The square cards. Right. But any other card, a square card can go over top of a, a domino style card, and a domino style card can go on top of a domino style card. Cool. So it's not it's not as punishing as some of my games have been in the past, where once you've made a mistake, uh, you have to sort of deal with it. Right. Okay, so let's throw those two down. We'll discard, and we're already halfway through the game. Then we get our eight cards again, and this would be the last of these that we're going to play. And so do we have any place that has any good water anywhere? Not really. So we'll probably just throw it over here. Okay. So let's say I saw that one of my opponents was about to complete this. And I'm like, okay, I better complete that this round. So I'll just go ahead and play this piece right here and get that done. So I've now completed this card. And what I'll do is I'll take my player card and I will play it based off of where I came in. Like, did anybody get there before me? If not, I would place it into the sixth slot. If I was the second person in there, I'd go into the three or if i was the third into the one and like i said everything's friendly ties and there's no skipping down so like if if two people tied for first the the next person would still go into this second slot so it's it's very friendly on on all of those aspects okay. very cool and then let's see is the other one better the other one is better okay i'll place that there and i've sort of given up on this orange piece now uh if i was playing smarter i probably wouldn't have but <laughs> yeah first first times are for me are usually yeah. like let's see what works that'll be fine okay mm -hmm. and so it's uh it's an odd round so i passed to my left this time draw all six more or hiking all right, and I'll go ahead and throw this here. So what I what I'm trying to do is see how this orange is connected to, or not orange. This brown is connected to this camping square, but it only is connected in one spot. And so I need to have this thing wiggle all the way back around and come back oh, and wow. connect before the game ends. And okay. so that's my big that's my big play because I'm going to try to. That's a long path, right? Yeah. Right. That's a long path. So I'm trying to get. I'm trying to win on this card. And so mm -hmm. I'm really working hard on the on the Browns to try to get that to happen. The question mm -hmm. is, is am I gonna have enough time to get back? I right. guess we'll we'll find out. I'm putting these on the table for you. So hmm. 
not a lot more happening for me there on that's brown idea. which is unfortunate so maybe i'll just play something that's kind of safe and do that maybe if i draw a u-turn on orange that could be something worthwhile on blue i've essentially just given up on on blue I could just score a point on blue. I'll score two points by placing this right here. Okay. All right, so I only have eight more tiles to play in the game. Uh, we have one more play in this round, and then I have three more turns in the next in the last round. So we really need to make sure that we get that brown. So that looks great, the one that you just grabbed. Yeah, this I was going to bring them to the table here. There we that go. one is great for us. That can go right in here. Uh, go ahead. Oops. So that oh, was no. one of the pieces we were looking for. There you go. And then let's just go ahead and keep working our way around here. So we'll throw that here. And again, like I have lines that aren't matching up. That's but okay. you're trying to get, yeah. Right, it's okay to not have everything look perfect on on your board, but if you want to score a line, it must uh, enter and exit from the same and matching colored uh, square campsite. Right, makes sense. Okay. So now we're in the last round because we discard the last two here, and we draw our eight. So we're gonna get. Three more turns to do this. There's no campsites uh, to play. We've already placed all of them. So we can go ahead and just work on trying to fix the things that we sort of left hanging. So Oops. I just here. touched the campsite. Sorry about that. Oh, cool. Thank you. I like janking things up, man. Sorry there about that. <laughs> so we'll do that. That's getting us closer. Like anytime I see brown right now, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try to take advantage of that if I can. And here's like an easy two points on orange. So let's go ahead and take it. All right. So four more tiles left, two more turns. Quick question. So the tiles are gonna the routes are gonna score regardless of the end game scoring, or is that because of one of the cards that I missed. You said the orange was going to be a quick two points. Right. So you're going to count the length of all your lines anyways. Uh, and these goal cards just give you bonus points. Okay. Okay. So I didn't get a lot of what I was hoping for on, on brown here. That makes me a little mm. bit nervous. Yeah, so you need a circle. I think I'll go ahead and just put that in. And then to play it safe, I'm going to put this piece here so that you know, I can overlay next turn as long as I get any brown that's turning. So this is because all my game is sort of based off of trying to get this brown to work. I think it's very important for me to go ahead and do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then this will be the last turn of the game. I actually wonder if it's, uh, it might be smarter for me to just go ahead and do that there. There's multiple oh. pieces. Yeah, that would be, that looks okay, like that might be easier to thing. connect those, right? Yeah. So this is a little bit less risky than this. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in there. All right. And then now we just hope that I got something that has a turn. Oof. I Wrong do color. right here. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. So then we'll throw that in there. So I did end up getting a nice long, uh, nice long brown. Maybe that gets me a decent score on that goal card. And I'll just put this one down to get an additional two. Okay. So that would wrap up the game. And what happens is now you're going to count up the length on all your different trails. And if you can see on the trails, they have these little markers. Like this one has like a little ramp, a little berm here and some rocks. So you just go down and you just count each of those as you go around. So oh. here on this orange, I have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got three on this inside one for 12 and then two more. So I scored 14 on orange. Okay. Okay. Over here on blue, I've got four. So I've got okay. a two, a two. And then over here on brown, which was the one that I was working on to try to win this card, I have one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if you hit the same place twice, you know, if it wraps around and hits the same place twice, you still count it. So 12, okay. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So 32 wow. plus five is 37. And let's say somebody else was like really killing it on that. So they ended up getting first place on that, but I ended up getting second, right? So right. my card would go here. We would give additional points. So I won, or I, I finished this biking one before anybody else. So I got six additional points for that. I scored three additional points for this. So that's 40 plus 20 plus four is 64 total points. So this was cool. three, this was six, and then 64 total. And hopefully I did my math right there. Yeah, that's good enough. Very cool. Not so that is the standard version of this game. Uh, okay. it, it comes with various different goal cards, both the end game and the end game. But then there is a couple of expansions that also come with the game as well. And if you could notice on some of the cards, they have these different animal symbols. And that's where these animal meeples come into play. So... Mm -hmm you want to basically have routes that where you can see different unique animals. And so the more unique animals on various different routes, you'll score more points. And there's also a version of the game that you have a hiker, a biker and a kayaker, and they actually move along the routes and they stop and look at the animals and things like that. So we've got three different ways to play the multiplayer game and we have three different solo modes. That's cool. Uh, tell me about the solo modes. A lot of people are going to be curious about those. Right. So there's a solo mode that uh, mimics this version of the game fairly well. Uh, and basically, you're going to win by scoring a certain number of points uh, and then meeting certain objectives. So you'll either pull out one objective card or you'll pull out two objective cards and you'll try to meet those. And then the gameplay is very similar. You, you'll You'll go eight, six, four for four rounds and you'll place out your 24 tiles. Then there's a solo mode that is similar to the Traveler's version of the game, which is the one that has the, the meeples for the kayaker, biker, and hiker. Right. Uh, in that one, you're going to, it's going to play fairly similar to the multiplayer version of that, but it has achievements. So we have, I, I think it's 20 something achievements that you can work towards. And it's sort of like steam achievements, right? Like when you get like the different, like if you're playing a video game, say like play this fire or something, you know, like all those little achievements that you can, uh, that you can get throughout the, uh, throughout playing the game. So we have one where you're trying to meet these different goals to win. Then you have like a steam achievement style solo. And then the last type of solo is one where there are phases that if you, are successful in an early phase, you get to move on to uh, the oh, next okay. phase. And it ends up being three phases long. And so that game takes, uh, that game is actually a little bit longer uh, because it's, in that game, you're actually gonna play 72 total tiles. And that one's super cool because at the end on your table, you've got 72 tiles played and like, you know, you, you wanna take a picture of that for sure and, right. and share it because right. it, it looks, quite crazy Pretty we epic. call that epic mode because of right. just how many tiles are out there does it use the animals and everything too right so the animals okay. are used in that mm -hmm. very cool well it's a very interesting little tiling game it has some interaction because of the the drafting and and obviously race for goals that's cool a little right. bit of multiplayer solitaire which is great for me i i love tiling games but drafting is is awesome with two because you're like how does yeah that's a good question how does it change with two with the drafting because you're not passing back and forth do you guys have any tweaks to the variant 
So in a two player oh, with a two player game, yeah. In two player, you are still passing between each okay. other. Yep. Sometimes we'll do like discard a couple and then add to the hand just to kind of spice it up. I don't know if you guys tried that, but uh so in two player, it, it's just like the other version, except for your hand will come back to you on the third turn. Okay. So you do okay. have some idea of maybe what might still be there. And That's so good. some people might even prefer prefer that because they can sort of plan be like okay i know that i left some of these tiles in there maybe right. some of them will come back for my for my last turn but you are still passing them around and as it goes around people take their two and play it and then they pass what remains fair enough well i appreciate you taking the time out i'd like to keep these a little short uh into the point and kind of brisk so uh i think with that unless you've got anything you'd like to add um good luck with the campaign seems to be doing well and and I like that you're continuing. The, is this the end for for the series? Is that what is this? It, it is. This is the last one that I have. That so I designed all these around the same time, uh, and this is the, okay. the last of that that series. And I think it. I think this one uh, will be, like I said, the most approachable of all of them. And yeah, you can play this like the standard version. You can play a little bit more multiplayer solitaire if you play the traveler's version, where you have like your traveler moving along the trail. That one you can hate draft a little bit more, right? Uh, and so, depending on what you prefer, if you prefer multiplayer solitaire, if you prefer you can take it easy, being a little yeah. bit feisty, you know, you can sort of pick the mode that works best for you. Very cool. Well, I'm sure there's some. Um, who, who's got how to plays right now? Do you have any video circling around that that people can check out if they want to learn more? So Rado has one. Okay. Uh, cool. And I believe that that will come out when the kickstarter starts right same time uh, this comes out so fight wing also is putting out i think instructional video okay fair enough with just the rules but uh, yeah i don't know uh of any other like playthrough type things well hopefully this helps some people decide if this game's right for them and if not like you said check out rado's how to play and uh good luck with everything and i appreciate you again taking the time out yeah thanks a lot for having me no problem, but take care.